Hello, everybody. If you haven't already, pick up this week, excuse me, last week's edition of the Daily Aztec. The new one comes out tomorrow. I'm Max Garshman. Ah, and I'm Brandon Trufa. thought patty kicking was our thing. I've moved on. Welcome, everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> And now we would like to welcome our very own sports editor, Mr. Ryan Posner. <laughs> You're the first guest on this show. How does it feel? You know, uh, this is exactly how I expected it to be, guys. It's, uh, it's a great honor. Great honor. Well, we're talking Mountain West Conference Tournament. Obviously, the tournament is this weekend. SCSU's first game is on Thursday. Yeah against Wyoming, the winner of Wyoming and Utah. Yeah. Who would you rather play, Wyoming or Utah? I think if I'm the Aztecs, I'd rather play Utah State because Wyoming's got Josh Adams, bonafide scorer, averages around 23 points per game. I mean, he's a guy that even if, with a bad team like Wyoming, not very successful, he could take over a game and potentially upset the Aztecs in the first round. He's a Mountain West Player of the Year. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, there's, you know, Jalen Moore on Utah State's a great player, but Josh Adams is probably as close to Steph Curry as there really is in, in the college game. That's not even an exaggeration. That guy can hit shots anywhere on the floor, and he's dangerous. Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't want to play him in the first round. You're going to compare him to Steph Curry? Yeah, I was, that was a little bit of a bold comparison. As close to <laughs> right. was the key word. You, you, no know, one, you know that hits home from Yeah, me. I know. You that know was that, that was the uh, uh, that was the idea. Right. Yeah, I'm right. sorry. So you're, you're trying to hurt me. Yeah, a little bit. On the I, show. Yeah, was, I know after you heard me before. Yeah, I, yeah. Know, I know it's your show. I, yeah, I didn't mean to you patty cake him with Brandon. Yeah, hmm. thought it was funny. It's been a rough day for you. Plain and simple. It's been a cold day. Yeah, yeah. It, it actually has been cold. Like the weather. Anyway, oh, who is the SDSU player uh, you're looking out for to perform the best? Is kind of the X factor. They're going to need their boy, Winston Shepard. I mean, he's the guy. I mean, he's not going to. He might not score the most points out of per game in the tournament, but he's going to be the facilitator. He's the guy you want on the free throw line when the game's coming down to it. He's the guy you want on the floor. I mean, if I had to put a, a, a points per game, uh, you know, stat on it, I, I'd say Trey Kell is probably going to lead the team in points over the tournament. But Winston Shepard's team's best, most valuable player. And how important is it to handle the ball? Obviously, turnovers is where San Diego State yeah. just goes awry. So, how important is the point guard position? How important is Jeremy Hemsley's role yeah. in this tournament? Yeah, he still hasn't started a game since he hurt his foot um, mm -hmm. against Fresno State. So. His, off the bench. Yeah, we don't we don't really even know other than you know Steve Fisher knows we don't know what his what his role is going to be. Um, you know, yeah, you're hit on the head though. You know, turnovers are going to be key. Keeping those that's been their problem all year. Winston Shepard, he's a guy who for the most part seems to limit turnovers. He's he's a guy who can go in there and you can trust what he's doing with the ball. But point guard position is going to be huge for them, no doubt about it. I think another thing to note is that Winston and Skyler have yet to win a Mountain West Conference yeah. tournament title. So this is their senior season. I think that, you know, playing with that on their mind, mm -hmm. that's going to be obviously motivating them to play better and, you know, win this whole thing. Yeah. They haven't done it since 2011. Mm -hmm. Steve Fisher hasn't. Yeah, I think it goes to show you how hard it is to win the Mountain West. People, people you know, knock on the Mountain West all the time, but you saw SDSU lose a game to Boise State without their leading scorer rebounder. They lose to Fresno without their second and third leading scorer and leading rebounder. I mean, it only, it, one game, it, that, it's all it takes is, you know, a little luck and – That'll be that'll be it for the Aztecs. I mean, I personally think that they're going to win this tournament. They're, they're there's no team that really matches up with them size wise, athletic wise, and skill wise in the in the in the league. But one you know any given day. I mean, the only one the Aztecs really have to worry about you know beating them is them is themselves. Yeah, really. I, yeah, absolutely. And then I mean they're going to play either New Mexico or Nevada in the second round. Teams that they've swept already this season, beating them. They only played Nevada once, but they swept New Mexico, beat them by the most they've ever beaten them the last time they played them. So. Right, yeah. and and I kind of and you alluded to that as well. Um, that end of the season stretch, the last mm -hmm. few games, just obliterated their yeah. opponent. How big is that heading into this <coughs> conference tournament when you know it might be a make or break tournament on getting to March Madness? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, momentum is everything in sports. I'm sure you guys know that. Uh, and I mean, you got to take it with a grain of salt. 
UNLV was playing about seven guys last game, but I mean, still to score 92 points, I mean, they still have five guys out there every time, last time I checked. So <laughs> there was still some defense being played. Score 92 points the most you scored all season in your last game. I mean, you can't really draw it up any better than that, honestly. And who so. would you say is the biggest threat to the Aztecs winning this tournament? That's a really good question. I mean, there's there there's a ton of threats from I mean, all the teams. Steve Fisher said earlier in the year the teams this year are pretty evenly matched. Like not even just a cliche, but if I put one team on it, I'd, I'd probably take New Mexico just for the sheer fact that they have two players in uh, Tim Williams and Elijah Brown, who were both on the team Mountain West first all team. Elijah Brown leading the conference and uh, scoring in conference play, so those are guys that could change a game really quickly, and that's why I'd, I'd put them. Now, if San Diego State does not win the Mountain West tournament, and let's say they make a deep run in the tournament, do you think that they get an at-large bid? Like, if they go to the final and they lose, mm-hmm. do you think they get an at-large bid? That's the magic question right now. Honestly, <laughs> I mean, everyone wants to know that. I, I, you know, it depends on the selection committee, but I, I really do think that they earned it. I mean, you, you really look at, you split their season in two halves and you see what they've done in the second half in conference play, which is what I think is what, you know, what your resume should be based on is how you do in your, on your conference. And they, I think they had one of the more dominant conference seasons of any team in the country. That mm-hmm. alone should get them. And they're in a group of five conference. They're not in a lower end conference. I mean, they're not a power five, but group of five is nothing to be, you know, laughed at. They're, they're, they're in a decent conference and they went 16 and two. So they should be in. Never speak for themselves. Yeah. Numbers never lie. Numbers never lie, wise man once said. And now we want to thank our special guest, Ryan Posner, sports editor, for yeah. coming on the show. Thanks, yes. man. Thanks, I really man. appreciate it's it. It's been a pleasure, appreciate guys. It. Yeah. Great Have a good one. That's great. Could he talk anymore? In New Mexico. It's obviously Fresno State. Like, yes, why guys. All right. And now we're on to Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Three, two, one. Tied. Okay. Three, two, one. I, let me say one. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yes. It's a win. That's a W. We'll see you guys next week.